Hi, welcome to PT Dance Education Videos. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between the relationship and exercises between the intensity and how your body performs under that intensity. The simple reason being, I've got a lot of people who's been telling me how hard they should be working, what weight they should be selecting. And at a beginner level, it's very important to get your technique right, start to slowly work harder and harder. With intermediates, you'll find that this is the time where it starts to start lifting a heavy weight becomes more important. Now, what happens is that once you start becoming more professional and starting to fine-tune your results, what you have to do is you have to actually select how hard to work at certain exercises for the simple reason being different intensities will result in the different abilities of your primary muscle to be able to contract efficiently. Now, what I mean by that is quite simple. Let's have a look at biceps, for example. There is a direct relationship between intensity and performance. The harder you work, the more that muscle contracts efficiently. So there's a direct relationship. So here we have a look at the difference between intensity versus performance. And like I just mentioned, there's a direct relationship. So it's safe to say, the harder you work, the better your body's going to perform. The muscle stays where it should be. Now what happens is, with tends to be with most exercises, if you work too hard, your performance will start to drop. So what happens is, you need to have really good technique. If you work really, really too aggressive and too hard, technique will start to fall, will start to drop. And when technique starts to drop, that primary muscle will actually cease to function efficiently. So this is where I'm going to start talking about the performance curve. Intensity goes up, up, up as you're working hard, and then you'll find it peaking. Then as you work too hard, intensity goes, still goes up, but your performance will start to drop because technique starts to get thrown out the door. So what you have to do is work very, very hard, but not too aggressive. Keep that weight and that tension and your muscle tissue, especially your primary muscle, under control. So here, you'll find the spot where you'll find peak performance. Now what happens is, when you work too hard, performance gets thrown out the door because your technique isn't there anymore. Now when that muscle tissue goes to absolute failure, yes, it's worth then throwing technique out the door because the muscle tissue has already gone to failure. It's almost got nothing left. So in order to squeeze out the last bit, it's important then just to throw technique out the door. And by all means, remember, I'm talking about just a professional athlete, somebody who is peaking in performance. For beginners and intermediates, which make up about 80% of people in gyms at the moment, you really should be focusing on technique all the way and trying to find that sweet spot of where you get peak performance. A classic example here also is where you put in too much power, such as if you're doing a dumbbell bench press and you've got the weight under control and you get a failure, as long as you hold back to that intensity, the muscle tissue can contract right. If you push beyond that intensity and you create too much power or get too aggressive, you create momentum. And momentum is one of those things that will drop peak performance because momentum will make the weight lighter. So you don't want to increase too intensity to increase momentum as well. Now, one of the things I want to talk about is back. When you train back, there is a very fine line here between working too hard. So with back, what happens is if you train back too heavy, you lift too heavy weight, the weight goes off your back and transfers to your bicep. So if you find that you've gotten a back workout and you've trained so hard but you don't feel your traps burning, if you don't find your lats burning but your biceps have taken a big workout, that simply means that you're focusing and pulling your hands, not your elbows, which means you've got to pull intensity back, increase your focus a little bit. Also, when you start lifting too heavy, the weight transfers off your primary muscle group and your body starts to recruit other muscles in order to help you out. And this is where if you go too hard, you incorporate all the wrong muscles, and now your performance in that primary muscle group starts to drop. So when you train back, have a look at the typical performance curve. When you train back, it kind of looks like this. Little, much less intensity for higher performance, and if you just go too heavy, bang, you'll start to drop really fast. So finding that sweet spot in back, it plays a large role. To find this little sweet spot, what you really have to do is you really have to hold back that intensity a little bit. With back, don't train as heavy weight as if you were training quads and do squats or biceps. With back, you've got to hold back your weight a little bit and you'll actually feel your lats and your traps contract far much more efficiently. 
So this is the difference between training back and training all these other exercises. So here we have difficult training back. Here's all, here's a performance curve, what the performance curve looks like on most exercises. So here we'll have most exercises. Now if you look at how to do an incline leg press, you are stuck in a position where it's very hard not to contract your primary muscle, which is your quads and glutes. You're stuck in a more of a two-dimensional environment, and this goes along with most exercises in the machine where you're locked into that environment, where you can now produce massive intensity, and you can't not target the correct muscle because the machine is designed to lock you in that right spot. So over here, the performance curve kind of looks like um, this, where it's more over here. So you can drag on that intensity and really push really hard in order to find that sweet spot with most machines. So as you can see, the further back you come towards this way, like training exercises such as back, requires a massive amount of mental stimulation. So focus on your technique a lot more and you'll get a better contraction of your lats. With most exercises, you can now work about 50-50, really put in a big effort but focus a lot on technique at the same time. With machines, because you're locked into that three-dimensional, that two-dimensional environment, uh, you can put in a massive intensity, and you're still going to be placed in a position where those primary muscles are going to contract very efficiently. So here's a range of different types of mentalities. So think about what exercise you're currently doing, and start to plot and plan uh, how hard you actually have to work in it. Which exercises can produce a massive amount of intensity? Which ones do I really have to hold back with a bit? and focus on my technique a little bit more in order to get the right contractions. This is one of the ways I like to fine tune the performance with a lot of my professional athletes and bodybuilders, and this is what you need to do in order to take your training to the next level.